Now we're just going to move on to some loading um, and teach people how to um, load a young horse or a, a horse or bad tempered a bad um, loading horse into the into the lorry. You'll see in my hand I have what I call a tapper. Um, basically it's a, it's a cut off of a, of a, of a lunging schooling whip. It's not a stick, it's nothing to hurt it. I mean it doesn't hurt it, All, what it is is just a, t a, a tapper which I just tack back of its hot to encourage it to go forward. And you'll see two, two lines what I've drawn here and this has to be safe for the animal. It's no good having the horse over this side or the other side, it has to be safe here. So you'll see the tapper working as if it goes over the far side of, of, the, of, the, of the ramp here, it'll be used, the tapper will be used on one side. If it goes the other side, the tapper will be used the other side to get it in. And each time it's in the loose, loose side, it's safe. And I put myself in a situation where he's far enough away from me, that metre and a half, again on that note, that knot, and asked him to come forward. Now he's come forward, he's licking that again, he's going the next tread of it. I move away, he, he knows he has to follow, because he's been taught the, the, the hole to work before. It's licking, it's smelling. Next stage, I won't let him do anything else. It's the same things I do, they touch that ramp, there you go. It's important that he does it. Again, I don't tell him to see him shake off it. He'll smell the other side of it. There's a touch again. My body's come away from him. The pressure comes up and left. There you go. There you go. Third leg on. Fourth leg on. Again, let him smell. Then I'll ask him to come forward again. Pressure on the halter, off. Then I use my body to get him turn into that. He knows he's got to go in there. Coming back down again, the worst thing you can do is put a horse at the side of you. Everyone's taught to lead the horse down the ramp. I never go, what you're doing is giving that opportunity to jump off. I always stand in front of the horse. Then I turn him and I stand in the middle of the ramp and I look straight at him. I step down the same, exactly the same way. I stand, stand in front of him. He's a baby, so he's shouting with another horse around. He's a baby, young baby. Again, I don't let him go by me and ask him to come back down again and walk down again. There. I go again, so once he starts following me up positively, I can then start to do something else with him and put more pressure on him. Next time, I want to stop him halfway on the ramp, my body will stop him. I want to hold him, my eye contact, my body language has stopped him. So if I want him to come down to this, this ramp, I'll step back, encourage him and go forward again again there's not no holding the body language is doing that for him so again it's one at a time so you get horses what are rushing out again it's not force what's holding it it's the fact that your body's holding them again it's down now he's learning to walk down now i'll try if he can go up on his own now so the pressure is on there show him the ramp Now you've got a horse loading by himself and quite happy to load by himself and that's 99% of horses are no different than that.